Hey guys, you're welcome back to the channel. This is 401 Styling, and today we'll be making this beautiful otter neck dress. Okay, it has a cold shoulder and also has a collar. So we'll be starting with the pattern first. We we'll draft the pattern before cutting and stitching. Okay, so for this dress, we'll be needing the half scale block. So I will start with my margin line as usual, first and first. So I'll just be showing us the most interesting part that is the upper part with the collar. So the front and the back pattern will be together on fold because we'll be cutting both front and back together. So either your pattern or your fabric should be together like so. Okay. So as I've said before, we'll be using upscale bodice block. So check the description box i have a link there to take you to my previous video so remember to add the zipper allowance to the back pattern i'll just extend the lines so that we can see so the first thing we'll do now is to start with our shoulder measurement just like we used to do so shoulder divided by two okay then the next thing our round neckline we are using a round neckline three inches by three inches for the front three inches by one inches for the back remember we are drafting the neckline together it is when we are cutting that we are going to cut separately but the neckline is going to be on the front pattern together like so so when you are connecting the neckline connect to the zipper allowance do not forget the zipper allowance. Then the front will be stopping where the front pattern stops. Okay, can we see that? This is our back and that is our front. So after this, we'll take our vertical measurements. We make points, the bust points, the under bust, and the waist. That is the front length. Okay, because we'll be drafting and half scale it is a dress so it's not going to be much than that if you are making a top of course you can extend to the length you want if you are making a dress and it is not going to have half length you can just draft it straight down so i'll connect the dots with a straight line like so this is my post point and the waist then I have 0 0.5 inches left for the joining allowance, your zip, your seam allowance rather. Okay, so this is the post point and that's the waist. So the next thing now is to get our chest line. From your shoulder, come down by 8 inches. Okay, you can simply measure this. Or you just come up from your post point by 2 inches. Create the points, then connect with a straight line. Guys, please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly do so now. Click on the subscribe button, then this is the shoulder slope. You come down by one inches from your shoulder, then you connect with a straight line. Then from that point, you connect down, straight down, and that is your arm hole line. Now, the next thing is to create our arm or cuff. You know how we do that. The midpoint of your arm or line come in by 0 0.5 inches, then connect. Give this video a thumbs up, share, and then try to come back. Of course, I have a loaded of videos for us to enjoy. So, that is our arm hole cuff ready. So, now to create the arm or Sorry, to create the outer neck from your neck, you come down by one inches to get another neckline. Okay, so from that one inch, you connect back to the initial back neckline that we have. Let me take it once again. From your shoulder, from that neck width, you come down by one inch. Okay, and connect to the former back neckline. Okay, so after you have done this, measure round the back and the front neckline, whatever you have, note it down. 
okay so after that now we will be creating the outer neck shape okay the shape that we have from the neck to the ham hole now what we are going to do to achieve this is connect create another ham hole line sorry what we are going to do now is to create another ham hole and we are doing this by connecting from the one inches we mark initially on the neckline down to the ham hole we drafted initially if you don't understand just what what i doing can you see that okay so after that now the next thing is to take our dots and to take our dots we are making use of our bust band divided by two from the bust point straight down to the waist you mark your bust um, span measurements mine is 3.5 then you connect with a straight line like so so after which i'll connect like so so to determine where the darts will be starting from you can simply start from one inches below your post point so first let me mark let me label this okay so after labeling then to determine the points once again you can just mark from your shoulder down to your bust point and come down by two inches or one inches but i'll recommend one inches because this is what i'll be using now one inches below my bust point so on the waistline you take 0 0.5 inches on both sides like so then connect to that point you mark that's one inches you mark connect like so do you see that so that is where your data will be starting from so when you are transferring to the fabric you will notch that area okay so now i would create the dart line for the back too at the back you don't really need the bust point area but for the sake of those that will be needing it because if you are creating the dart line to determine where the dart line will be coming from you might need the bust point line but it's not really necessary okay so guys kindly subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up and share to whom it's be concerned so now let me make this chest line visible okay so from the chest line now if you want to create your dart is either you start from the bust point line or you just come down from your chest line by one inch this is the reason why you need the chest um the bust point line so you repeat the same process at the back take your bust pan measurements divided by two from the chest line down to the waist connect with a straight line just watch what i'm doing guys it's really easy okay so from that chest line you can come down by one inch of course this is what i'm using now you can even go to that chest and um, that bust point line that is the reason why i said it is you know it's optional so you take 0 0.5 inch then you connect the lines okay so after connecting the lines and i return back my front pattern okay that's all for the back remember we have the parallel one so now i will return back my front pattern be mindful of the zipper allowance area then pin down so that it won't be moving because now we will have to cut but after, before cutting we impute our horizontal measurement okay now we'll be needing our post circumference divided by two plus 1.5 seam allowance okay for this i will not be using a lining i will just be you know turning the inside with a bias step then on the waistline do not forget we have one inch there so you take your waist measurement firmly divided by four plus the one inches we took initially do not forget 
then plus your 1.5 seam allowance you can use one inch you can use two inch depends on you so after this i'll connect with a straight line like so so after connecting i'll make the dots visible so we can see kindly click on the subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you get notified anytime i drop a new video trust me you're going to enjoy this channel so as you can see this is the dot and the next thing now is to cut out the neckline okay and then the other side so we'll start by cutting the back neckline first because it is higher than the front neckline okay that is why we are crafting the two together so be careful of the way you cut it and do not forget do not forget to measure the neckline before cutting out okay so then you cut out the new arm hole line like so then you cut out the side Now you cut out the margin line because you don't want to hurt your measurement when transferring to the fabric. So that will be all for the front pattern. When you are transferring to the fabric, you would add your 0 0.5 seam allowance on this neckline. So as you can see, I separated the back from the front before cutting it. Okay. So the ham all area and the neckline you just add 0 0.5 because we already have 0 0.5 seam allowance at the hem line so i'll just label the front and the back so the next thing we'll do now this is all for the front and back so the next thing now is to cut the collar okay i'll just place this aside then I'll cut the collar out. So, in case you forget to measure the neckline before cutting, remember we come down by one inch on the neckline. So, you just start from one inch and measure around what you have. Okay, then you repeat the same process for the back because this is what we'll be using to draft our collar. So, whatever you measure, just write it down. So that you won't forget in case someone else is making this for you they will easily get the message okay this will be all for the upper part the front and back now to the collar so to draft our collar now we'll be drawing a straight line vertically and horizontally okay don't forget our neckline measurement because this is what we'll be using so one side for the front and one side for the back so whatever you measure on the front neckline you mark and the neck the back neckline too you do the same thing then connect with a straight line like so as if you are going to create a box okay so we are drafting both the front and back together so after you have done this you label the back and the front so that you won't get confused because we are just be going to be cutting this so after this at the center line you determine the height of your collar and on the back too you will be determine the height of the collar but at the front the center front what you'll be measuring will be different so from the from the line you come up by 0 0.5 inches then you connect with a cover back to the center okay Back to the center like so so from that 0 0.5 you should measure measure your height of the color then you come out by 0 0.5 inches again and connect when you do do this you will get a slant line then from that slant line you measure your 1.5 inches height all through okay the back will be straight while the front we have a slight curve because if you look at our neck it is not uh that straight it has a little bit of 
cylindrical shape so we need to create that so after which i'll connect like so you add 0.5 seam allowance all round except for the front okay you need to do that so that you don't shorten the measurement of your collar okay on the front and at the base so you don't need 0.5 seam allowance in the front like the center front rather so just label your collar like so because it will be cutting on fold okay so there's no need for 0.5 the next thing is just to cut okay so that will be the center of our neck you know this landline will give the balance okay so we start cutting from the back that is the back um that is towards the zipper allowance remember we measured from the neck width to the zipper allowance so we already have the zipper allowance to add it to it so you will cut this on your fabric you place your fabric on fold and you will be cutting two of this one for the front and one for the back okay and make sure you have your interfacing ready because you need to add interface so this is this about the collar nothing much as you can see it's easier to drop this so by the time you cut this out on fold it will be longer and this plus will be in the center while this will be the other way round okay so that's that about the collar so the next thing i need to transfer our pattern on the fabric then stitch